everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild with me, Get Dave. I'm just gonna grab... I'm gonna run away. So we had an interesting side quest that I just got here. And I think I've solved it right away, so I thought I'd just show up. We're at the Lakeside Stable. Uh, let's make some room for this woodcutter's axe. Uh, you know what? Now that I've gotten rid of this... So there's this girl... ...who was concerned that the stable kept getting struck by electricity. So I just went on top of the stable and, lo and behold... ...found, um, a woodcutter's axe, which is metal. Yeah, I'm not really sure why you would have an axe in bed. Uh, thank you! We've done it, everyone. And now the reason I'm really here. You're all gonna be quite nonplussed once you find out. I heard tell from internet that Beetle sells um, high-tail lizards here, which have been a super huge pain to find. Hmm? Uh, and the reason I care so much about that is to upgrade the uh, Chetmobile, we need them. But now I can't find Beetle. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Dave, take a picture of one and then use the Sheikah Sensor Plus to locate more. Well, I've tried that and it ran away when I tried to take a picture of it. So no thank you. I lost a lizard that way. All right, we've got a couple things to take care of. Let's let's do some shrine fest, everyone. All right, we're cruising on our way to the next shrine, but I did see one of these lovelies. So let's uh, dispatch with the balloon and get ourselves a Korok. Another one for my collection. We're off to a really good start. I'm just going to keep firing them into that empty spot. One of these days, things are going to come up Dave. Yes, you taunt me. There we go. This takes me a little bit to find the tempo. Or maybe I'm nervous because of the camera. Or maybe you can just go easy on me. Whatever excuse. Whatever one works. I can have your stuff? bodies fell down there. Oh my goodness, this place is just crawling with the undead. Not gonna be my problem. So this one I discovered a long time ago and it's been bugging me all along. But in the center of this spiral you can see a little platform there. It has a receptacle, oh good, for an orb. So we should, you know, put an orb in there. Come on now. Alright. I just found a way for us to get around a little bit quicker. <laughs> yeah, great idea, horse. Now we're both drowning. Alright, so we're gonna work our way to the beginning of the spiral and see what we can figure out. This is not... Come on. This is not a good horse. <laughs> All right, we've got kind of an interesting thing coming up here. Let's see what we can do. Let's trample some moblins. Or, let's aggravate our horse and be in big trouble right as the blood moon's about to begin. There we go. Now we can kill them. I'm just gonna throw this rock right away. There we are. Oh, 
Oh, the bass. That ain't right. I always enjoy fighting someone with a spear with a really big, heavy weapon. There you go. That's what I think of you and your bass. Okay, we traded shots. That's fine. Alright, I have located the orb. The good news is it's also nighttime. Oh, hey. Let's get ourselves some frogs. And uh, there's lightning. So, uh. Let's do this. And for my first trick, ha! Let's say we're off to a wonderful start. Um, I'm gonna make a brief detour because I did think I saw, I saw one of those barges you can push with a uh, Deku leaf. Yeah, screw it, we're not doing that. Speaking of Deku leaf, I wonder. And yeah. Okay. I'm not sure this is going to save me a ton of time. Right. I don't recommend it. Oh, good. Uh, you know what? Oh, good. It's a two handed weapon, which means my shield is. Let's dance. So, what happened is, there was wind, and there was rain. They did not combine very nicely, so I would throw the orb, and then it would, you know, go into the water, and then I would cry on us underneath it, uh, and then the wind would blow it off that. And then I would have to do annoying things like wedging it between two cryonis things and... Yeah, I blame the weather. There's a few areas in this game where it feels like it's deliberately programmed to give the least convenient possible weather. So, uh, just walk along the spiral. But hey, we found a shrine. Shrine Fest continues! have a couple other bits of business I'm going to attend to right around where we are. Welcome to Retag Zumo Shrine. Home of the Zumo Wrestlers. Eh? Alright, looks like we got the makings of a blessing shrine. Yeah, sure. Nice to have. And I intend to go to the Akala Ancient Tech Lab very soon because I have I sold a bunch of my stuff. I have like 10,000 rupees. So we're going to go shopping. Off camera, I converted four into a heart, so there you go. All right, everybody, slight change of plans, but just for a little bit. Um, off camera, so... You'll recall a couple episodes ago I bought a house and then one of the workers, Hudson I think, went off to start a new town. That's Terrytown, which is right there. You can see it on the map right there. And do you see it? We're not far from where we were. There's the vortex where the shrine was. But lo and behold, the final great fairy. Also, there are often wonderful, delectable treats. Armor in. Okay. I guess that's nice to have.
Gotta say, my favorite was the Saflina Reservoir, but we'll take it. And how much money do you want? Mm-hmm. Oh! I... I'm broke. <laughs> Here you go. So I made that money by... I don't know, just selling mostly monster parts. Looking forward to this. Hello. Let's all see if we can get a level 4 upgrade and see what happens to our boy Link. stuff's going to be enhanceable. Uh, I'm not... That sucks. If I had one more ancient gear, I could go for that. Well, that Ooh. one's an easy one. Except it's not going to get us the cool animation. That's just... That one's old news. We've seen that. Oh. Yes. Boy, I wish... Nintendo games are bad for repeating themselves on that sort of thing. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Wait. Oh, never mind. So this is the level 3 enhancement. Push it one further, everybody. Lionel bits. It might be time for us to go on the Lionel hunt. All right, here's our level three or our level four transition. your imagination to fill in those blanks. All right, Hitano Ancient Tech Lab time. What you got for me? Tempting. I could even get away with it, but... It's interesting that these are better than even like the plus plus items you can find. All right, Ancient Helm. Then we'll have the collection. There we go, we've completed the set, everyone. And we're pretty much broke. I'm gonna save the money I have left, though. All right. So now, I might as well show it off. Let's take a look at this just deadly outfit I've got. Eh? Pretty impressive. I guess the idea is he looks through, like, the glowing hole up... I don't know. Alright, I'm just fast traveling here. It's another shrine I found off camera, but with the shrine detector and knowledge of the location here... Come on, map. There we go. Um, it's not too hard. Basically, I was somewhere over here, and I thought to myself, I'm gonna look on top of Hebra Peak to see if there's something interesting. I still haven't actually been there. I'm going to put a map in, but on my way, Shrine Detector started chiming, and lo and behold, Shonata's Shrine, which is, like, a little hard to see because it's, you know, covered. But, uh, the Shrine Detector was so good, it pretty much took me right here. So, I want you to show me what you got. Okay, looks like we've got a real shrine here. Red Giveaway. 
Not to be confused with a dead giveaway. I have no idea what this means. Where do we need... Okay. We need to launch that orb somewhere. But first things first. Treasure time. And I'm having a hard time seeing what's going on. First I thought I had to solve an actual puzzle here, but let's just grab the treasure. What you got? Ooh. I do enjoy frost blades. And now it's just the puzzle. Run. Something bad happened there. I'm just gonna move this right here. And we should be able to use it as a breaking mechanism. sure why I can't just throw it in there. I don't really want to. Because I want to I want to try this. There might be a slight oversight in this though. Mystery solved, everybody. And I think I messed up the timing there. I feel like this shrine is missing, like... one critical barrier to make it challenging? Because, I mean, we've got this thing for blowing it all around, and a braking mechanism and all that. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna miss something. I'm just going to set it down. Yeah, I think this one may have had some problems. This is test theory here. No, you get out of here. Yeah, it would have worked. And I could just carry it all the way. Like, it's like they forgot to put a barrier in somewhere. Alright, fine. I accept my humble pie. We need to be standing there the whole time, and everything I said was a lie. And especially the parts that were true. Any chance we can reach with stasis? Yeah, we can. Well, then this is a little bit easier. Uh-oh.
All right. I apologize, Ryan. This is a fun little contraption. I thought those were going to go up and down consistently, and on retrospect, not much of a puzzle. It's nice to be wrong sometimes. Alright, next up, a locked gate. I'll see you shortly. It's not exactly what I had in mind, but the shrine detector is a tingling. And, you know, we're at a place called Selmy's spot, so let's just say hi to Selmy. Hey, nice to be here. Yeah, sure. Let's shred some gnar. No. I'll criticize you about a thing you don't care about. Eh, no thank you. I'll just save that to stuff I'm passionate about. I enjoy shield surfing, but... I'm afraid I'm only interested in your critique if it's gonna get me trials. And maybe it would've. The game definitely wanted me to say yes there. Alright, well yeah, from the shrine I just went for a very brief little jog. seems like it's underneath us somehow. Also, we might have some trouble. There's wolves. Okay, I'm gonna head to the peak anyway. Because, you know, we're pretty close at this point. Also, this would be very enjoyable to shield surf down. Feeling. Bye bye. All right, let's see if we can decode our. Oh, there we are. Our shrine detector. Uh, we could melt those rocks. I have a fire blade. Well, let's just drop right in here. Oh. We're gonna have to. So, in my opinion, the easiest way is just to stand here. I mean, we can get a brief pulse by swinging, but that's gonna affect your durability. And we'll just patiently wait. I think I've shown some of this stuff on camera. You can also use some wood and just start a fire if you're really committed. There we go. Welcome to Goma Asag Shrine. Wasn't Goma like a boss from one of the old Zelda games? Anyway, right by the peak. This isn't even the shrine I was gonna show. It's bonus shrine time, everyone. All right, what do we got? Looks like a test of strength. We've had a lot of those lately. All right. Let's see what we've learned. I had a bit of a shameful display in my last one. Pretty good performance in the one before that. Let's dance. All right, just doing a little bit of tinkering with our weapon setup. My original plan was to do the normal uh, spin around with bash and dash, but instead... Oh, my poor blade rod. It served me so well. I shall have to find another. There we go. Thank you for your service. Nope. Okay, we do 
our backflips now. Never. So we're burning through a little bit of equipment. We can lose. Ouch. Um, probably shouldn't lose this one as well, actually. I'd rather burn through. What do we got here? Ah, another ancient battle axe. There we go. Uh... Yeah, we'll go with this setup for now. I'm done with those spears, as we've mentioned previously. Yeah, nothing wrong with having three of those battle axes, because they are fantastic. Ooh. 71. Gotta say, I'm a little disappointed with the Master Sword's inability to uh, keep pace with the other weapons. I know when it glows, it goes up to a 60, but uh, I don't know. I just think it should be the strongest weapon in the game. 